Football season is here and concussions are always a major concern. ABC 10 News reporter Steve Smith shows how a Carlsbad company that made helmets safer in tackle football is now doing the same thing for flag football. Flag football, fastest growing sport in America right now with over 7 million kids playing. And while flag football is supposed to be a non-contact sport, head injuries do happen. We see kids um, playing flag football and they make contact, whether their head hits the ground, another kid's head, a knee, anything else, and there's that opportunity for injury. So at Light Helmets, they took the liner from their award-winning hard shell helmets and created a brand new helmet for flag football. We based ours on the combat helmet. We use the same materials that we use for the liner in our award-winning football helmet. So we decided that we would apply our materials and technology into that growing space. And not only do we protect the head area, uh, Virginia Tech gave us 100% coverage in terms of what parts of the head that we protect, but we received a perfect score uh, per their index or scale for impacts. Now, Virginia Tech is the independent testing lab most entities look at when testing safety products, like football helmets. But prior to that, at Light Helmets, they run their own testing impact as well. We don't build helmets or headgear to pass a test. We build them for real world play and athletes. Yeah. And even if some of the kids are wearing these helmets because they're soft, it can protect another athlete that's not even wearing a helmet or a piece of headgear because when you have head to head contact, this protects that athlete as well. And not only do these helmets provide protection, they only weigh about eight ounces. In Carlsbad, I'm Steve Smith, ABC 10 News. Nicholas says the new helmets can also be worn to reduce the injury risk in women's soccer, which is the number one concussed sport in the U.S.